Hey everyone, I am here with Allison Chisholm. She is the founder of Choice Words and Allison works with businesses to help craft their story and provide strategic advice to her clients that effectively communicate their offer and really just help them gain new business and shift perspectives, not only for her clients, but with their target market. And Allison and I were chatting recently and we were just talking about like the crossover between having effective strategic copy for your business and how that aligns with your brand visuals, such as photography. So we're here today just to kind of give you a quick breakdown of how strategic content can help establish your brand presence and align with those visuals through ideally blog posts. So welcome, Allison. I'm excited to chat with you about this today. And I'd love to give you the floor, give a quick intro about yourself and hear what you have to teach people about how to align their blog posts. Well, thank you very much, Carrington. I really appreciate this time. Um, I love talking about strategic content and that's why I call my business Choice Words, Chisholm and Company. Um, I've been in business for 27 years and I've had a lot of fun working with a variety of clients to try and figure out what is their story, how to tell it and who needs to hear it. And so blogs are a really good way to get that story across. And I think of them as really kind of a pillar of a content strategy. You can use a blog to talk about some pain that your clients or your prospects are facing. And they really need to be able to answer a question that your clients want the answer to. You wanna be the person who has that answer and really the reassurance that you can help them with that problem that's keeping them up at night. And the great thing about a blog is it gives you the space to explore the question they have and the solution that you can bring to it um, with enough words. Um, I understand that people look, they don't read, uh, but speaking from the word side anyway, I think that a blog is a great way to, to take hundreds, maybe up to a thousand words to really get at the answer to their problem. Um, and frankly, I think of strategic content as not just words, but images as well, uh, both visuals that are static and, and video, because people need to understand your answer, but they're gonna look first. And I think a photograph is an excellent way to communicate the point you're trying to make. Um, and then they'll read more about it. But often, I think people lead with a photo. They're scanning their screen. They want to see if you've got the answer that they've been looking for. But the picture is going to help them understand that's like the beginning of the conversation. It's a visual conversation, and that's going to involve looking and reading. So a blog can be a good way to establish that information that they really need to know. But also, it's a way to help them feel better about the time that they're spending to read it. They're like, ah, this person really gets me. They understand. And then what you can do with a blog of that length is you can then spin it off in different ways. And those are different um, approaches. And that's where the strategy comes in about what else you do with that blog. But I think it's a really good start to help sort of plant your flag in the ground and say, yes, I know what's troubling you. I know uh, a way to approach it. And I think I've got some value to share with you. So that's one of the things about blogs that just they're, they're an answer to a way to reach people. But you really do need to work with somebody who understands the way to phrase things, the way to actually meet your SEO requirements so that people can find this valuable blog. And it's going to provide a way for you as a business owner to connect with people in a way that just a salesy website homepage can't necessarily do. And they'll find you through the blog. So that's one of the reasons I love writing blogs. There's going to be um, multi-purposes for them. And, but the primary purpose for a blog is to connect with your audience in a new way. And visuals and the words together are the best combination to achieve mm -hmm. that. Yeah, no, definitely. I love how you were saying that using visuals is a way of having a visual conversation. Because people always say visuals is like storytelling. Yeah. But I've never heard someone use it in a way of a visual conversation. Mm -hmm. I think that's an interesting twist on a similar concept 
But switching those words actually has a really different meaning, right? Well, well done. Yes, we yeah. like to play with words. Mm -hmm. and, and using visuals as really elements of strategic content are just another way to engage the person who is either mindlessly scrolling or clicking away on their website. And this is going to give them a reason to stop and spend a little more time. And as you said, engage, really think about what it is they're seeing, what it is that they're reading. Right. It's, it's fun. So if somebody is creating a blog, would you advise them to start off with their imagery and build off of that or start off with creating that content and then align the imagery after? Well, I am biased toward words, but so I would say start with the words because what you might find in reading through them that something might leap out at you as an image idea that you wouldn't necessarily consider just knowing what the topic of the blog was. Um, there may be some phrase in there or even a metaphor that an image could help reinforce mm -hmm. or get someone to sort of sit back and say, what's that about? You know, why is that illustration being used? I've got to read a little bit more to see where they're going with this. Right. That's a really good way to look at it. So before we wrap this up, for anybody who's looking to get into writing blogs or working with somebody who is actually great with words and can do that for them, what are some tips and tricks you would give somebody to start figuring out that path? Figuring out, this is what I need to do to get started, or this is what I need to do to find that perfect person. There's a number of things to think about, um, and that's that's a great way of thinking about it, Carrington. The, um, I would say, start with how you want people to find you. So make sure that the topic actually aligns with a question that they might be typing into a search engine. Um, and the questions they're typing in are the, the questions they have are, that illustrate the problem they're trying to solve. So think about what is in your client or prospect's mind. What is the, the question you want to answer? Um, and I'm sure they've got plenty, but start with the biggest one if you can. And then I would say, think about a way that you're going to tell it. You know, you can answer a question and there's lots of different ways. You could go very high level, academic use what I might call SAT words, if that's what your audience is looking for. You know, they, there's different ways of analyzing the, uh, the reading level required. And if it's college level, that's a certain vocabulary. That's probably not most audiences. Most audiences, I would say, would probably be more eighth grade. Um, some audiences, you may want to be a little bit simpler, really eliminate all that jargon and go with something that's closer to like fifth grade reading level. So you have to think about the way you're you're responding to their question and have some, you know, be thoughtful in the vocabulary that you use. Um, and then the third tip I would say is really, as you are planning your blog, the out choosing the topic, outlining how you want to respond, think about how best it's going to communicate the value that you can provide. Because people want an answer to their question, but they also want an answer in a way that helps them understand what you can bring to the table. So it's not an encyclopedia response. It's a response that really demonstrates what it is you have to offer that client or prospect. Um, and that's a challenge that truly goes beyond just answering the question is answering the question in your voice with an authentic response. So that's another way to help connect with them. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I hope those tips can help somebody out there. But if anyone wants to get in touch with you or learn more about what you do, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? I'd say two ways. One is connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm Allison Chisholm um, in LinkedIn for Choice Words. Uh, but you could also um, go to my website, choicewordsonline.com. And there's a contact form and I'd love to hear from you. You can set up a meeting with me there. And that would be great to have a conversation. Awesome. Thank you so much, Allison. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll chat again soon. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Of course. Have a good one. You too.